Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios. Um, artwork for today, it's an abstract of a man and a woman. Acrylic on canvas. Hi, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. Today, I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Psalm 41 verse 6. It says, They visit me as if they were my friends, but all the while they gather gossip, and when they leave, they spread it everywhere. And here's my poem. A true friend, that's the title of the poem. Can you trust your friends with anything? Are they honest and full of integrity? Can they keep secrets faithfully? Are they encouraging and trustworthy? A true friend never gossips about you. Through thick or thin, they will see you through. They can keep secrets and never betray. They will treasure it in their hearts, what you say. And here's my essay. Have you ever experienced betrayal from a friend? It is one of the most hurtful experiences one can ever have. I used to have many friends back in my country of origin in the Philippines. When I moved to Canada, it was a novelty to have as much friends as I used to have. I guess it is a culture that makes it difficult to have more relationships because of the varying seasons. I noticed, though, that all of the many friends I had were not all true friends. They spread rumors about me as soon as I turned my back. The Bible talks about what true friends are. They are loyal and will never gather gossip and spread it everywhere when you turn your back. A true friend knows and respects boundaries. They never talk ill of others or their friends. Prayer. Thank you for friends, Lord. Reflection. How can you maintain true friendships? Um, I think I could answer the reflection question. Um, I think the most important thing in friendships is uh, the exercise of healthy boundaries. Um, we are all raised very differently, so we all have different ways of doing things. And when we get into friendships, sometimes our friendships could be um, uh, in many different levels. They could be just, you know, um, not really very close and they're friendships that really last for long but doesn't necessarily mean that if you have long friendship doesn't mean that it is a healthy friendship i think the gauge of a good friendship is when each one of you respect each other and i guess what happened in my life was also god has swept away all those friends that are not good for me to keep because he wants me uh, to reap the fruits of the Spirit. And you can't reap the fruits of the Spirit if you stay uh, with unhealthy friends. And what I mean by unhealthy friends, is not, I don't mean fat or anything, but I meant that when your friendships are toxic or when your relationships are toxic, it is probably better for you to let that go because it's not gonna, it will hamper the way you are gonna grow spiritually. So, it doesn't matter if you have less friends as long as the friends that you have are the ones that God approves of. If you have friends that God doesn't approve of, especially those who gather gossip and spread them everywhere, th those are not true friends. And um, people also who do not live in integrity, so don't, don't, even the Bible says that we're not supposed to have anything to do with people who are doing evil stuff because um, likely they will contaminate us. So I think a true friend is someone who is godly, someone who has integrity and keep their word, and someone who will be there for you through thick and thin, because sometimes friends are only there for you when they need you, or some, some people are just there because they have a use for you. And those are not real friends. A real friend is somebody who will be there for you through thick and thin. Somebody will give you their shoulder to cry on. Somebody who you could uh, trust to keep a secret that you want to say to them. Somebody who could counsel you and tell you the truth about what you're doing. So these are all the manifestations of a true friend. 
So I hope that you'll be able to assess your friendships with people around you that you have been going along for a while. And if you think that you're not progressing, there must be, um, I think there is, um, it is time for you to take a look and evaluate your friendships and set good boundaries so that you will maintain good friends and grow together. Thanks for watching and I hope that you are preparing for the new year and um, preparing to prepare yourself to spend more time with the Lord so that you will grow in faith and in um, your love for people. Have a blessed, blessed day.